We got company! They've been at the epicenter of some of Hollywood's biggest blockbusters and worked with a who's who of A-list directors and stars. When Hollywood's royalty called, Action. they helped create the movie magic. I actually happened to be the first uh, African-American set decorator that there was in existence. When I first got into the business, I told people, I said, you know what? The only reason I have this job is because of the Angela Davises and the you know, Martin Luther Kings and things like that. And they got upset that I said that. Six days of rioting in the Negro section of Los Angeles left behind scenes reminiscent of war-torn cities. Ironically, it was the turbulent and violent era of the 60s that gave young and talented artists that worked behind the scenes their big break into the industry. The motion picture business, or entertainment in general, is quite a nepotistic uh, environment. You'll find sons, cousins, black people were not represented at all. Black people were basically left out in, in huge numbers. They told me it was almost impossible for African American to get into the motion picture industry. Its purpose is not to divide, but to end divisions. Divisions which have lasted all too long. President Lyndon Johnson, through the Kerner Commission and the EEOC, essentially forced the Hollywood studios to open their doors to women and minorities. I had no clue about Hollywood. I mean, we were from the projects, you know? We never thought about working there, you know? The studio's attitude, from what I could gather, was that uh, EEOC had no business uh, investigating them because they didn't have any federal contracts. The, the EEOC mandate required each studio to have an active, affirmative program that would reach out and recruit minorities and women. The advertisement came on that they were looking for minorities to come down to the Dart Building on 3rd Street and sign up and you can work in Highland. And when opportunity knocked, many African Americans answered, especially those with skills that translated into the movie business. Are you going to be able to work for $100 a week going through this training program? And I told them, of course. You know, this is what I've gone to school with, you know, gone to school for. He says, so do you do white hair? That's the first thing he said to me. I said, yeah. He said, you do? I mean, that's the way, it is like shocked him. He said, you do? I said, yeah, I do. My first check was like $500 for a week. I screamed all the way home. I was in my car going down to Hollywood Freeway just screaming, wow, look at this check. <laughs> oh boy, $500. I mean, we're talking about, you know, I have $500 clear in my pocket, you know. But once on the lot, many of the studios and the unions didn't exactly roll out the red carpet for the new recruits of color. Every morning I'd come in and I'd say, good morning, everybody, and nobody would speak back. I'm willing to join the union because the studio has hired me, but the union didn't want me in, so they didn't let me in. I had to pay them to work on the lot. And it was just the beginning of battles to come. Filming on locations, especially outside of L.A., really tested their grit. And everybody was outside and we were going for another angle. And he said to me, he said, this isn't so bad, referring to these dilapidated slave quarters. And I went around to the other side of the camera and counted to probably a hundred or whatever. And came back and he was still like waiting for a response. And I said, uh, not through my eyes. And you just continue and overcome all the negatives because the positives far outweighed. I know a change gonna come. Now, some 40 years later, experience these revealing and inspiring stories from those who paved the way and opened the door to artists of color. Being a set decorator is what I knew I always should have done, and I enjoyed every single moment of it. It's an overall shot of a cornfield, and Oprah Winfrey is coming from two or three hundred feet back to a close-up, and she is storming and ranting. But I never see her. All I see is her path through the cornfield. I think we're lowering, because when it ends, I'm at her eye level and she pops out. You told Hoppo to beat me. 
and it was phenomenal. It was a great shot. My daughter now, when people come over to the house, she'll take them in the office. She said, look, there's my mommy's Emmy. This is my pride and joy. When opportunity knocked, the real Hollywood success story.